Well, I really thought I wouldn't be talking about this game because I'm just going to be honest. I grew up playing this game. I grew up loving the series, the movies, everything. And then if you read that title, you know what I'm about to talk about. Mortal Kombat 11. And I guess they had a stream. And I attended this stream. And I can say firsthand that... I did not like the Injustice 2 like battle system. I don't like Injustice 2 battle system. And now that you're putting this into Mortal Kombat, oh man, I can tell it's gonna be it's gonna be hell, man. I hope that this game is gonna be good. I still hope and pray that you know this game will be good, it'll be excellent. But I just got a bad feeling that this is gonna be an epic fail on the on behalf of Netherrealm. I mean I don't I don't know man. It's like every one of these games that I get hyped for that get announced, Jump Force, Epic Fail, Kingdom Hearts 3, Epic Fail, Shokoro, Die Twice Shadows, whatever the hell it's called. Epic Fail. Now here we go. Mortal Kombat is gonna be what? An epic fail. I mean, man. It's like, I know what people are going to say. I know, oh, you, why are you talking about the game? It's not even out yet. Oh, man, why are you bashing a game? You didn't even play it. Oh, man, you're a hater. Listen, I don't care about what none of you people say, man. Because at the end of the day, I'm going to speak my mind and I'm going to voice my opinion regardless if you like what I say or not. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to say how I feel. And this is how I feel. I'm looking at the stream. I attended the stream and made sure I come back to the replay of the stream. And all I'm seeing is Injustice 2 vibes. That's a problem for me. Because I don't like the Injustice 2 battle system. I don't. And it's not, I know somebody will say, oh man, you know, you just did it. Listen, I don't care about what you got to say, bro. Like, it's just like I said in my, um, Shokuro, um, rant video. If you don't care about what somebody else's opinion is, why you click the video, you know? Obviously, you want to hear what somebody else's opinion is about the game. And I mean, at the end of the day, I don't got no fanboy metabolism like you people do. I say how I feel. I speak my mind regardless. And I just feel like Mortal Kombat 11 is going to be an epic fail. Don't get me wrong. The game looks nice. The game looks beautiful. I just don't like... And there's also one more thing I don't like. Is that you have to pre-order a character that was in the previous games. I don't like that. I forgot his name. But... I I don't like the fact that I have to pre-order to play with a certain character. That's fucked up and that's shady as hell. And then on top of that, I know you're going to come out with a season pass. You did it with um Injustice 2. You did it with um Injustice 1. You know? And I'm pretty sure you're going to come out with an Ultimate Edition, which you will be doing. I'm pretty sure. So, with that being said, I'll just wait until all the characters are on this. Because I'm not going to be shipping out money just to play with this and that and this and that i'm good you came out with a mortal kombat xl edition we had all the characters everything on there so i'll just wait until you come out with another xl you know all i'm gonna say is this man i don't like the injustice 2 battle system i really don't it irks my nerves and I just believe that this game is going to be an epic fail do i see people enjoying this game and loving this game of course of course I see people loving this game and playing this game. But in my personal opinion, this game is going to be an epic fail, man. I'm sorry. Like, I hope I'm wrong. And I really want to be wrong. But every time that a game that everybody get hyped for, they see the cinematic trailers, you know, all the, all the good things about it. And then when you actually play the game, it's dog shit. Look at Crackdown 3. Oh, man, we got the cloud engine or the cloud system or whatever the hell they was promoting. You could destroy any building with enough damage. What happened? Game come out. It, it, it just lied about everything. Lied about the cloud. Lied about all this shit. You had fanboys talking about um, it's powerful than two, two titans. Like, come on, man. Like, seriously, that dude looked like a clown. But anyway, man, um... I really hope Mortal Kombat 11 is going to be good, but for right now, what I'm seeing and what I attended and looking at the replay value, I'm good. You know, I don't like the um, Injustice 2 vibes I got from it. I'm sorry. That's just me. 
Um, do I see people enjoying this game? Of course. But for me, I'll just wait until you come out with an XL edition and pick it up then. Until then, I'm good. I'm not buying this day one. Uh, I love Mortal Kombat. I'm way more of a Mortal Kombat fan than all you Johnny come latelys. That's facts. Um, I've been playing Mortal Kombat, even the spin-off games, like um the even the ones that people didn't like, like Deadly Alliance. People didn't like Deadly Alliance. People didn't like um Shinobi. They didn't like those. You know, they didn't like those spin-off games, but I enjoyed those spin-off games, you know? So at the end of the day, I'm a true Mortal Kombat fan. All day, every day. My favorite character is Sub Zero. I even had the the, the main Sub Zero game on N64 because Sub Zero is my favorite character, next to Johnny Cage and Scorpion. You know. So at the end of the day, don't come at me and talk about oh you're not a you're not a real Mortal Kombat fan. Yeah, I really am, and this is coming from a diehard Mortal Kombat fan. Um, I don't like the Injustice Two vibes. And that's that. If you come on my channel and you leave in dumb, ignorant comments, I will block you. I'm not putting up with your internet crybaby crap because at the end of the day, if you didn't want to hear somebody else's opinion, if you didn't want to hear nobody else talk about it, why the fuck did you click on the video? Why? You know? But anyway, man, it's been your boy.